Certainly since I got it, the transmission oil hasn't been changed. I've got it angled like this so that the oil will drain out of the transmission since it's right at the back. You need something like a 17 millimeter Allen key to remove the drain and filler plugs and what I did was buy a 10 millimeter nut and bolt that has a 17 millimeter hex head. It's the welding outfit that I used to weld up that tool. 17 millimeter head made from a 10 millimeter thread threaded uh, bolt and nut and I welded it with that electrode right there. There's the finished tool that fits into the 17 millimeter opening of the filler plug there on the bottom and the magnetic drain plug in the center. Remove the filler plug first so that in case it's stuck you don't drain out the oil from the bottom and then have no way to put new oil in and get stuck. It should be drained out now so take a look. The drain plug is magnetic so it picks up any metallic shavings inside that are steel based. Okay, that's the drain plug and it's back in. Use some Teflon tape on it so it's not so hard to take out in the future. The other one's up there. If you can see it. There's the where the fill plug goes. I'm using 80 weight 90 gear oil both from Valvoline and Walmart because I didn't have a full Walmart GL5 uh, gear oil and I'm using the stay lube pump uh, which screws onto the top with an extension I put on so it'll reach the bottom of that container that's the stay lube gear oil GL4 that that pump was on here we are with the container with the gear lube and the pump attached inserted into the transmission transaxle differential. I was pumping until gear oil just began to run out at the bottom of the filler plug hole. This is the half inch ratchet and 17 millimeter socket that I use to tighten but not over tighten the filler plug using the homemade welded tool. There it is, filled with new oil and the fill plug secured.